Hey, it's Leslie Gaddis. I'm the area trainer for District 5730 this year. Also assistant governor for Area 5 uh, for District 5730. I was visiting with uh, District Governor Steve the other day. We were browsing through on Rotary Club Central and a lot of the clubs have not in our district have not put goals into Rotary Club Central. So I'm sending this out to all the uh, presidents in our uh, district. Uh, hopefully maybe over the weekend or sometime you can sit down and do some goals. Uh, just pick two or three, uh, put them in there. The uh, reason this is important is that, uh, let's say, Rotary International is going to uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to request additional funds for polio or or some big foundation. They're, they're wanting to partner with a big foundation. Those people are going to say, how many hours of community service or how many hour, service hours do Rotarians do? Well, they can you know, log into the computer. They can figure out that, uh, hey, uh, Rotarians in District 5730 put out, uh, you know, a thousand ser community service hours last year uh, or something like that. Anyway, it's a, it gives them a tool to measure that. Uh, one of the goals is always membership, too. It gives us a good way to measure progress on membership. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get into Rotary Club Central and how to how to put in a few goals. I use Chrome as my browser and I have a bookmark that I use to go to rotary.org uh, but if you don't have a bookmark it's pretty easy it's www.rotary.org and I'm going to use my bookmark and uh, this is the rotary.org uh, start page. Uh, lots of lots of information on rotary.org, but um, what, the reason I'm making this video is hopefully to streamline uh, so you don't get uh, get lost, or if you're like me, you get distracted. Uh, I'm gonna click on my rotary right there in the middle at the top. And since I was already logged in just a few minutes ago. Uh, you can see up here at the top, it already has me signed in. I don't know, computers do that sometimes. Anyway, so I'm going to go to, it says we're here at My Rotary already. I'm going to go to Manage. And then you want to go down here to Rotary Club Central over here on the left. Manage and then Rotary Club Central. Sometimes, again, it'll ask you for a password right here. Sometimes it doesn't. So here we are at what they call the dashboard. On the dashboard, my, my computer always defaults to Plainview because that's my home club. And uh, you will only be able to see your club stuff if you're eligible to see. Um, but as trainer, I can see other clubs and as assistant governor, for A5, I can see those clubs. So you want to go over here to the left and you want to click Goal Center. And again, mine defaults to Plainview. Uh, and we're just going to peek on Plainview today. Uh, here in the center of the screen, you can tell what year you're dealing with on these goals. You can back up if your club president put in anything last year you can see the goals and the achievement if they were updated of uh, your goal so we want to only deal with 2019 today 2019 2020 there's a whole lot of goals that you can put in here but I'm just going to encourage you to pick a few uh, membership is always a good one uh, if you don't understand like right here is club membership. If you don't know exactly what they're asking for or what you need to measure, click on Show Goal Detail and History. And it's an explanation. It says, how many total members does your club want to have by the end of the year? That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you go down here to Service Participation, click on that one. How many members will participate in service activities during the year? So if you have uh, uh, just how many members show up to each uh, uh, service project, 
somebody's got to track that you know you have three or four service projects every year uh you somebody needs to write down and and then keep track of that so at the end of the year you can update that goal um new member sponsorships district conference attendance how many people do you think from your club are going to go to the district conference you know if you have four or five people from your club regularly go to the district conference put in six hopefully you'll get two more to go this year uh, district training participation how many in your club uh, clubs committee chairs will attend district training assembly if your club normally has two people go put in a goal of three there's foundation giving goals if you go over here uh, across the top here you can do all these goals here how many uh, annual fund contributions how much money will your club contribute to the annual fund uh, polio plus contributions, major gifts, bequest society, benefactors, all those things you can put in there and you can measure. Service is another one of the topics. Uh, service projects. Let's see, there's just like there's just one goal you can put in for service projects. How many service projects will your club complete in the rotary year to track and report uh, project details such as contributions, volunteer hours? and uh, service activities in the main menu um, public image uh, online presence if your club has a uh, website or a facebook page you need to need to put this in there this is just an achievement yes or no or did or did not uh, achieve it's not how many times did you post on facebook or anything like that and then there's a rotary citation uh, tab that you can fill out to uh, if you if your club has a goal of making a, a uh, presidential citation anyway so we'll go back here to member and engagement and let's say uh, Plainview wants to have a goal of they have currently 65 members and if they want to have 70 they have to select this and then you click right there and you'll put in the number I'm not going to put in anything. I'll let the president do that. So anyway, that's the way you do it. Uh, set some goals. Just pick a few. You don't have to pick all of them. You don't have to do all of them. Pick a few that you can uh, track and, and go for it. Appreciate your time. If you have any other training requests or anything, you can uh, always email me at uh, Leslie G. Rotary Mail at yahoo.com l-e-s-l-i-e-g rotary mail dot com or rotary mail at yahoo.com anyway thanks uh, as district trainer look forward to helping our club presidents have a fabulous year